Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us and learning how to file your W-2s. During this video, we're gonna go over how to set up your printing, as well as how to view and print them. Then we're gonna learn how to archive them for you to view later, and how to invite employees to workforce so they can also view and print their own W-2s. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start on our left-hand navigation where it says taxes and then select payroll tax. You'll then make sure you are on the filings tab and then select annual forms. From here, we're gonna go ahead and go to the very bottom where it says printable employee copies form W-2. The one that suggests a W-2 copies B, C, and 2. It will then take you to a page where you are going to go ahead and set up your W-2 printing. And from here, you have three options. If you're going to be using a three-part perforated paper, a four-part perforated paper, or if you're just going to be printing out the W-2 forms on plain paper. I'm going to go ahead and select just the plain paper and then press OK. Your account will then take you to a new screen where you're going to answer a few questions. So if you track contributions to retirement plans outside of QuickBooks Online Payroll, you will need to manually select the retirement plan checkbox for each active participant when you prepare your employee's W-2 forms for the tax year. So in 2021, did you, the employer, or any other employee contribute toward a retirement plan outside of QuickBooks Online Payroll, yes or no? You're gonna go ahead and select the answer for that and then press continue. Next, you'll be taken to a screen where you can go ahead and view that W-2 form. You're gonna go ahead and select the period, so 2021, and from there you can view and or archive any finished W-2s. It does pop up a reminder here to give copies B, C, and 2 to each employee by January 31st. If you are required to report health coverage on Form W-2, you're going to go ahead and select Go Here to finish that up. When you select View, it will pop up a new tab. That way you're able to go ahead and view all the W-2s you can go ahead and make sure everything looks good and you can actually print from here as well. And once you are done working on the W-2 forms, you can press archive. That way we'll keep an electronic copy for future reference and remove the form from your reminders on your homepage. Next, I'm gonna show you how to invite your employees to workforce. That way they can view their W-2 forms from their own computers and print them out if necessary. Maybe they lost it, or maybe it didn't get to them in time, but they can always go ahead and use Workforce to view and print their W-2 forms as well. We're gonna go ahead and go to where it says Payroll on your left-hand navigation. Select Employees, and at the very top of your employee list, it says Invite to Workforce. Once you select that, an editor will pop up on the right side of your screen, where you can go ahead and select All Employees to Invite, or you can go ahead and select individual employees and make sure their emails look correct so that they get their invite. Once you've selected the users you wish to send the invite out to, go ahead and click send invitation in the bottom right hand corner. They will then receive their invitation. It will have them register their email address and get them signed in and they can view their W-2 forms from there and print as well. And that is the basics of making sure your W-2s are ready and sent out and making sure those invites are sent to your employees as well. The end of the year is busy enough. We want to make sure that getting those W-2 forms out to your employees is quick, easy, and simple. If you ever need any help or assistance, never hesitate to reach out to us. We're always happy to assist you.